how many lives are lost or taken all around you in your daily basis? And um, how many lives are saved by just decision made by chief of unit of army in this field, just take right or just take left by saving lives from explode or whatever uh, in this field? And uh, are you ready to take a simple decisions based in your daily life to impact, not just to save, but to impact people's lives around you or change what they do daily basis to have an impact on their long-term life? You have just to take a sleep in the same room with a small mosquito and you will just understand it is not about being small, it is not just being the strongest man, it is not just about the richest person or the powerful person or the smartest one to bring change around you. This decision I did and I slept and I understand what happens. It is one thing. Growing up in Mali as an ordinary young boy all around the country, I've seen how many people been killed or used to live in a really nice and renewable communities and are doing the nicest things together in the community, the harmony they, they used to live in as ethnic groups, different ethnic groups, and uh, the smile on their faces on a daily basis. And in 2012, things fell up, fell really apart. During the military coup, I called the stupidest one because now they, the organizers are in prisons and um, we had the inventions of uh, ethnic groups and uh, based in religious oriented people come in and uh, take place in the northern regions and in central of the country. And also political crisis and uh, social break at different level. And from Mali and I came here in the US studying engineering and business and entrepreneurship what we focused on the um, human centric design thinking to design solutions from basic problems as we understand and try to solve. And what happened in the few um, years after the military coup, we had a lot of uh, support coming from all around the world, the UN system, other governments, but people didn't know exactly where the need was really, what the help was really needed, how we can bring it, how we can change people's lives during this trauma area, uh, moment. So me and my organization, the Accountability Lab, uh, came up with the idea of a citizen help desk, which first objective was to understand and design solutions for people need in these different areas. And from the northern regions to central regions of Mali, uh, Segu and Mopti were really, really serious right now with the armed groups oriented through a religious approach and they recruit a lot of young people uh, to get to fight. So when we are outside of Mali and we understand and see what's happening, it's easier to say it's a religious problem. But when we, go, we get deeper and the fact of uh, uh, this project Citizen Help Desk was to understand what's going on. Because a lot of young men have been recruited by these armed groups, not because they want to fight for a religious, they want to fight for Islam, but they just looking for something, a living, a daily basic living. So the, the army groups can easily pay them a lot of money where they have not this access to have a job to get employed by this, the, the official system, which is the government. So the first objective is to listen to people, to go to these places, listen to them, and understand what they're living. And uh, because a lot of them been in, uh, in the, the school system named Madrasa, which is not the official French school system. And the rate of uh, unemployment also in um, French school system people are really high. So these, these persons have even not a single simple and hope to have a job in the future. So it's easier for them to get engaged in this armed group and fight for them just to get a living or just to try an immigration system to go to uh, European, European countries. So the second step is to collect information from these, things, um, these communities we call uh, Communities Frontline Associates is a young person's active citizens we recruit in this area, we train them on accountability issues so they can go to people, talk to them and understand the problem and try to create a trust between communities and the government so they can, everybody knows what's happening and how the problem is staying here and how we can fix it. And 
everybody, to, uh, all, all the community stakeholders together. And then we interpret and analyze the data collected from the communities. We disseminate through uh, radio talk shows and we open the floor to people so they can come and talk and express themselves so all the voices can be heard in, in, in a real democracy and so design solutions all together to make it really happen. And this is uh, one of the report, when we've done the first report in Segu and Mopti, one of the crucial areas in Malurena, we've been contacted by the UN uh, organization named UN Mass. We asked us, we wanted to implement some of things to see how we can fight against uh, extremism through uh, citizen voices. So you can see the sort of work we, we've done, the collecting information and make it open so everybody can access and understand uh, what the crucial problems are and how we can fix them. Instead, bringing money or bringing uh, solution from Paris or US or whatever, but the, which solution would never fit the problem we are having there. So sometimes we have seen it's not about money, it's about just having a good idea and great persons to implement the ideas. Before I leave you, I want just to invite you to follow the philosophy of Nelson Mandela, the Ubuntu philosophy, which means just I am because we are.